Will there be a sudden event that will shake the earth, as many predict? August 14, 2019 Investigative journalist Benjamin Fulford, who produces works based on alleged information from a wide range of sources, including Yakuza, MI6, Freemasons, CIA, KGB, Mossad, Triads, Chinese government, military intelligence, Japanese, etc., published the following article, Attention, content of the subject without proof of the truth of the claims presented in it, which may contradict the currently accepted science and the general belief spread in humanity. We also remember that the acronym FO does not necessarily mean lean ship but simply an identified flying object whatever its origin, human or extraterrestrial. Will there be a sudden event that will shake the earth? As many predict, for thousands of years, monotheism predicted some kind of event that will shake the earth. Some call it the end of time, others the rapture, and some the return or arrival of the Messiah. Nowadays there are versions of the New Age talking about things like galaxy motherships coming to introduce us to a new universe. Notice to readers, this article is pre-written as I am doing my gap year. We will only report the latest news if a game change event occurs. The next report with the latest news will appear on August 19th. Thank you for your understanding. As a reality-based reporter who collects real-world information, religious beliefs whether old or new age fall out of my reach. However, more than three decades of reporting from the highest levels of world power have left me with enough evidence to convince ourselves that, at the very least, we are entering a new era. Let me start with some of the strangest things I have encountered before moving on to the confirmed evidence here and now for that. There is a shelf that I keep in my brain where I store information that doesn't fit my worldview and I'm not sure what to do with it. Related deep state religion exposed. Do you realize that you are being initiated into the dark occult? For example, there is a Japanese gentleman who sometimes comes to my public speaking engagements, who claims that he has been working on Mars doing terraforming. While making these claims, he seems to be a very sensible Japanese government official. He says that recently all access to Mars has been cut off. Terraforming, terraforming, that is, modeling a planet to look like Earth, modifying its atmosphere, temperature, topography, or ecology to maintain a living habitable environment as we know it. There are also people who say they came from the Pleiades and have detailed memories of their homes there. They say they are now abandoned on this planet and cannot return home. Other than that, they are functional and apparently healthy people. Famous gun trader Adnan Khashoggi once sent a sex trap to me. The envoy stood naked in front of me, trying to seduce me into sex, and then said no at the last minute, in the apparent hope that I would cross the line. Rape and get caught. After she failed this mission, she told me that giant humanoid beings, similar in description to the Anunnaki, had experienced in her womb. Japanese gangsters and professional killers have also told me that they have memories of being tried. A North Korean professional killer once told me that he had killed his Jewish manipulator, and that the same person reappeared a few months later. These are people I met personally. I don't know what to do with their testimony other than saying they had no other, say, mental health problems, and believe me, I've been approached by many people with these problems. This is a first-hand testimony I received. There are also many testimonials from various public figures talking about extraterrestrials and a secret space program. There are more than a dozen former U.S. astronauts, for example, who have claimed to have seen aliens and that our planet is under their observation. The most notable public figure for alien disclosure is probably Paul Hellier, Canada's former defense minister who says the aliens have been visiting our planet for thousands of years. This is exactly what I was told when I visited the Freemasons P2 Freemasons at the Vatican. They told me that they had been in contact with these aliens for millennia and knew them as angels, devils, goblins, jinns, etc. P2 told me the aliens would fire Pope Benedict XVI and they showed it, forcing him to resign. They have thus proved that they are truly powerful. Vincenzo Mazzara a knight of the Teutonic Knights and top agent P2, showed me pictures of entities they reported as being depicted on the walls of Milan Cathedral. Here is a blurry photo of some of the depictions. Will there be a sudden event that will shake the earth, as many predict? One untitled what's most interesting from my point of view is that I met these entities in person. I wouldn't mention it if I hadn't taken pictures of them. The photos can be seen below. Will there be a sudden event that will shake the earth? as many predict. 2. Will there be a sudden event that will shake the earth, as many predict? 3. These were taken near Shibuya, 
Tokyo. These entities were slowly moving up and down and seemed to communicate with me telepathically. Alexander Romanov of the Gnostic Illuminati also claims to have encountered these beings. Here is what I learned from these plasma entities. I was informed that our reality is the result of extremely complex mathematical equations. These equations have been redone numerous times with minor variations. This is why many of us, including this writer, have memories of slightly different versions of today's reality. In some, humans were allowed to explore and colonize other stars. In others, they were virtually eliminated by the nuclear war. Below is a comment on Fulford's articles, published by the administrator of the website stillnessintorm.com, from which the above article was taken. In response to the many questions and comments I get from people who wonder why I share these articles, I present the following. Speaking as someone who has been following Fulford's reports since 2011, reading them should probably be done with a little standing back. This means that he seems to share information directly from alleged sources within the Pentagon, the CIA, the White Dragon Society, and so on. Often the data presented are contradictory on the surface. Fulford's predictions and statements are sometimes highly accurate while in other cases completely unfounded. Instead of looking at Fulford as someone who has access some greater truth, it would probably be more productive to consider his data as a possible perspective on what is happening on Earth at this time. This, of course, extends to all sources of information. Fulford, like all of us, is only human and can make mistakes. But that does not diminish the work he has done to spread awareness and move things forward for a better future for humanity. Discernment is the process of understanding what something is, which, in Fulford's case, means entertaining your reports without blindly believing them, and then doing the follow-up slash fact-finding research to determine what actually happened. Thus, it is a real-time discernment exercise. The fact that so many people continue to read his reports, despite its sensational and sometimes inaccurate nature, while accurate and poignant, means that the people he receives information from will probably use him as a spokesperson to speak with. You, the reader who is on your way to awakening. As such, blind belief or callous rejection are not our allies, but critical thinking and open-mindedness are. As I said earlier, if he is serving as a spokesperson for various groups working to change the status quo or agents within Kabbalah, we can decipher the data as a wake-up call, information that certain players want to expose to the posture. The effect this has on your personal process depends largely on you. But I suggest taking an active role in discernment and not falling into the trap of total acceptance or rejection.